The primary election is next week, and for the first time in years, there will be a new sheriff in town, literally. We are joined now by John Hemmerling, who is running to be the sheriff here in San Diego County. John, good morning. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. Okay, well, we, we have seven candidates running for this job. Yes. Why do you think you are the best to represent San Diego, and why should voters choose you? Uh, well, I think uh, when everybody looks at the candidates that are out there that are running for this, this seat, and as you said, it's an open seat and um, it's an opportunity to really look at all the candidates. Uh, it's been probably close to 30 years since we've had that. And mm. my, uh, my career of public service spans over 30 years between my time in the Marine Corps, uh, my time as a police officer, and my time as a chief criminal prosecutor. So I, um, I have unique experience in those areas. Like I said, my time in the Marine Corps, I spent 30 years being active in reserve. I retired as a colonel. I um, commanded at every level there. I um, proven leadership. I worked almost a decade at San Diego Police Department in our um, uh, mid, mid city area, one of the roughest crime areas in the county. And then I spent, um, you know, a long time as a chief criminal prosecutor in the in the city of San Diego. And my unique experience on the entire uh, criminal justice spectrum um, is unmatched by anybody else. How difficult of a transition is it going from, from that to some sort of a managerial job where staffing problems have become such a big deal yeah. for, for the department? How would you handle that? Yeah, I mean, staffing is one of the things that I'm obviously very familiar with from my time of, you know, leading people in the Marine Corps. My time in my most um, uh, recent job was, uh, you know, managing a very large office, managing, managing staff, trying to figure out, where, you know, how to set priorities to be the most effective that you can do the, uh, the, the job. And, that's kind of the key and the hallmark of a good leader, being able to take someone with, with what you have and being able to really set priorities and make those priorities that reflect um, both the department and the, and the community. Needless to say, this is a big opportunity to create um, some meaningful change here, right? Yeah. Um, racial bias uh, in, in stops and searches. This has been a huge issue, obviously. Yeah. The last couple of years have been very difficult for law enforcement, more than I think ever before in our history. How do you plan to, to help move that along, improve that with, with the community? Yeah, we're going to take a look at um, you know, that because it has been a topic that's come up and, lo and look at some of the data. You know, where's, where's, where's this going on? Because right now you can look at, at it in kind of a broad brush area and, and yeah. look, at, look at the percentage. But more importantly, you want to look at, you know, how is it, you know, how is it impacting certain communities? What, what are those communities? Um, you know what is what is the staffing there? What is the uh, the crime rates there? To figure out what is the is what is really behind it, uh, because you know we don't want to just make a you know a kind of a knee jerk reaction on yeah. how we do it. We want to make sure that we're being effective, and we don't want to you know under police an area because you know you know if you if you under police an area, that's just as bad as over policing an area, and that doesn't provide good public safety to those who badly need it. Uh, let's talk about uh, what, what you said in Ramona. I know that this has been at the top of your mind as well. Yeah. Everybody was talking about this. This actually led, I believe, uh, you lost a UT endorsement as a result of those comments. It had to do with transgender women and defining women, this and that. Do you want to clear those comments up? Because it did lead, it's a big deal to lose an endorsement from the UT, correct? Yeah. Um, do you want to clear that up and, and, and what that's going to mean to you in lo losing that endorsement? Uh, well, as I had said, you know, I apologize to anybody that, that, that I had offended, but it was, never, uh, it was never about that. It was about the ordinance that was passed by the, by the majority board of the county board of supervisors that, that redefined women, and mm -hmm. that's all I talked about. And the fact that it was neither fair n nor safe or, or provided true equality to, to, to everyone. And that was really what that was focused on. Um, you know, obviously my uh, political opponents find reasons to seize on things and turn it into things that it, that, that, that it wasn't. It was really about that and, and about laws that, that we pass. It's kind of similar to when you, when you go to laws about public safety, Prop 47, and the unintended consequences of that. You know, that did not provide what everybody thought it was going to provide. It wasn't fair and safe for the community either. Uh, so um, that's what that was really about. Yeah. Uh, was Deputy City Attorney, obviously, abrupt retirement or was this planned or did had this been, have something to do with that? I had been planning uh, to retire. It had been set in motion. I'd already uh, discussed it with my staff in the past. I've been uh, working pretty hard on, on, on the campaign trying to manage both of these things and, uh, and the, t the timing was to do it here right before the election so I could focus on doing the election. Y your final message to the voters now because we're now a week away um, and you know in the world of politics boy you hit one bump in the road and it kind of tends to derail things you're trying to keep that on track. What yeah. is your final message make sure you know the other people aren't here so this is your chance to clarify any confusion that may have happened leading up to election day. 
Yeah, well, my message is that, you know, whenever they, everybody looks at the candidates that are out there and, if they want, and they look at the job that they want in sheriff, a sheriff that's going to be strong on law and order, that's going to respect victims and respect, you know, crime and, and addressing crime in the community. That's what this race is really yeah. about. You know, we have gone to the, to the point where we're not really um, focusing on victims anymore. You know, we're more focusing on trying to, you know, help the, help the uh, defendants. And, you know, and there's good, there's good uh, benefits in society for that. We also don't want to forget the victims of crime. We need to stay, we need to stay tough on that, and we need to address some of these serious problems in the county because mm -hmm. crime is rising. And you need to look at you know, who you want to be sheriff to address these problems when crime is rising in the county. All right, John Hemmerling running for San Diego County Sheriff. We appreciate the time and addressing the issues with us. Yeah, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, John.